Alright, here's the other version of my homemade claymores. Um, hi Casey. Good girl, cool. And this one, in my opinion, looks better. It functions a little more because it can hold pretty much twice the BBs, if not a little more. And is a little more disguised. Obviously, I haven't fully painted it. The front is painted black because that's mainly what the enemies see. I still have to work on the trigger system a little bit so it doesn't go off by itself randomly. But um, pretty much what this is made from is a filing cabinet. I had a random one laying around in my backyard, so I said, why not use it? I have hand bent everything, hammered everything out myself. And it is all held together with just simply rivets, as you can see here. I have two hinges for the front door, and then the top part, each held in by hinges. I'm going to have a safety pin right here. Pull that out, and now I'm safe to open this. Right now I have the springs released, and there's a BB. Here's the inside of what it looks like sideways and everything flipped up this is what it looks like when it opens your BB's going here and again same thing with my other claymore Casey go I am going to use gene material so it's more flexible as you can see right here my the cut part that holds it, it's all bent and everything um, also, again, I used mouse traps. I've used two in this one, so this one cost a total of like two sixty-three bucks, something like that, which is a good deal if you ask me. I have used bolts to hold these in, just because of how much force these go through. Got one there, one in the middle to connect both of them with a the washer, and then one on the other side. And on the inside, there's a bolt holding it in. And then in the center between the two, I used a washer because I didn't want anything to fray. And then on the edges, just to connect the two so they didn't try to pry apart. Again, I had hand bent this from everything. And I used self-tapping screws. And then on the other side of it, same thing, a steel plate. Um, and then on the other side, I used another bolt. And then as you can see right now, these springs are disconnected, which... I do that during storage because otherwise this door could possibly flip open when it's not in use and I don't want that. But pretty much how it works is what I'm going to do is bring one side back and I'm going to grab it from the inside and put it on it where it's supposed to be which would be, that's one of them. You can actually adjust the power of this thing. This is one spring. And then to equalize out that spring, I will put the spring from the other side on. Like so right there. And now as you see, it's equal. You can move it where you want. Um, now if you want more power, which, who doesn't want more power, you add both springs on, or the other last two springs on, on both sides, like so, and now there is four springs total, you got the one there, the one there, flip it around, you got the one there, and the other one right there, you fold one side in, and then you hold that down. Yes, this is a lot of pressure. Fold the other one right over that. And you hold that with one hand. And you'll carefully fold that up. And now see how the door is on pressure with that. I'll continue to close it. And then this. I fold up. I'm going to need to work on the trigger a little more. Because as of right now, it will open by itself. But... The idea of the trigger is there will be a string right there, go down to the bottom, there will be a little pulley right here, and go straight out to a tree or something, 
that the enemy will trip over, not really trip over, but trip the wire. And then pulling the trigger, and then what that'll do is that'll pull this down, lifting the other side up. This will fling open like so, and this does this very, very fast, and pretty much flings the BBs at you.